fun. Yo, I'm getting a call from Idaho. Oh, fuck. Answer. Yes, this is Alphonse. You gotta put it louder. You gotta put it louder. Give me one second. I'm gonna try to get the, uh... The speakerphone option going. Give me one second. I'm sorry. I just can't hear you. Yes, um, you can call him on another number, and I'll and I'll call him. I can do it. Can I call you on a num uh, on another number? I I mean on on my number. Can I call you on a different number of mine? This is just like a a business line I have. Okay, um, except, I'm sorry, except, uh, expect a call here in a couple seconds from a different number, it, it's mine. Okay. Uh, send it in the private chat, Kiwi. I will have him go out. I'll have him, you know, send somebody out, one of our buddies, maybe maybe in the area so we'll, we'll, is this we'll working but, yes. uh, yeah we'll try to get this done we'll try to get out and get your case taken care of just as long as you're willing to pay a fee to help you know yourself you know pay us a small fee to help us you know <laughs> yeah um this this line is actually working so we can discuss it here um i'm i'm just hearing loud noises in my in my basement and uh i, I i'm afraid like can you tell me what kind of noises, like bangings, rapping, you know, that sort of thing? I uh, Honestly, like a lot of rapping, just like a, I don't know if you ever read the, the Edgar Allan Poe book, but um, uh, uh, yes, a, a lot of rapping on, on my door and uh, a lot of voices, like demonic sounding voices or voices of your loved ones right? yeah it, people say it, i hear voices saying that it's it's the devil and they're there to extract judgment upon me huh you've got yourself quite the case wow so tell me how long has this been going on my friend i oh probably ever since i moved into the house and uh you know i'm, I'm a devout satanist i'd like to say that out front like i i worship the devil um, I'm just not seeking any of his his awful um, uh, benefits. I mean, I, I really, I just feel uh, I don't know how to explain it, Corbin. But I did not, I did not, I did not expect this to happen. Well, when you play with demonic beings, you don't expect much from them, all except they're hateful and full of spite. You must have done something to piss him off. You might have offered the wrong offering. Or something, but uh, this is a telltale case. If I remember correctly, this is a case of demon, demon enhanced like anger and whatnot. You must have angered the being somehow. I don't know how, but I know you somehow angered the being. But to be honest with you, if it if you did anger said being, then maybe I could I could try to help you figure out how to exorcise said being away from your house but the thing is i don't know much about the situation so me and me and tj will try to figure this out but as long as you're willing to pay us for our work to try and help us you know grow our little business venture i just have a question um i i know about you of course but who is cj oh oh right right you don't i didn't mention him he's uh he's my second my second you know he's my man he's my other guy who him and i are start him and i wanted to start this business when we were in high school and now that we got our first client to call us and tell us about stuff i will have to contact him to see if he can deal with it directly and then i can have it because he's basically our uh archivist he archives and makes sure that we take care of the case he's the guy to call to archive this case so he's a uh, He's my second in command, sort of, so to speak. He is my right hand man, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just want to make sure because this seems like a very scary case, and uh, along the lines of like just things I've heard, uh, there, you know, I absolutely amazing things about your business, but uh, 
there are certain videos floating around about you in particular online. I I just want to talk to you before I have you in my home. You, you sound like a, a safe individual. I, I There are just yeah, these things online. I did some questionable things, okay? I did some questionable things. Who hasn't, you know? But, yes, I will attempt to reach out and see what I can do. But uh, could, there, I'm sorry to cut not- you off. Yeah. Uh, just just for my own my own sake uh yeah wh- what are those questionable things uh, i forget it's if you could just be as honest as possible i mean i i'm not here to judge i you know i i've done some things myself you probably see my tiktoks apologizing for the shit i've done and trying to move on well let's just say the videos you saw of me talking to underage individuals was kind of a true thing but it was a long time ago i tried to let it go i've been living my life others ever since then you know living better as a person but anyway back to our case at hand yeah uh are there any other things going on like weird scratches all over your body or on your back or something because um I I if I'm being completely honest, I've seen uh, you, you like I, I have a couple kids, and uh, I've seen some of their toys come to life and uh, try to solicit me for sex, but I I don't know how to respond to any of it. I yeah. Well, yeah. Which ones do you mean? Like, give me like a rundown of the toys that have been active, have been looking like they came to life and whatnot. I need your. I need your uh, I I am a fan of uh. Oh, this isn't... Are you sure you won't make fun of me? Bro, I'm here to be impartial. I'm not going to judge you. Well, I, I'm i a fan of, of the show My Little Pony, and I have a collection of uh, uh of some pony, like figurines oh, and yes, uh, yes. and uh, other stuff. And uh, I've, I've really, like, they... I, I, it's going to sound crazy, but, like, they've been looking at me weird. Yeah, I get it. They've been watching you cross the room. Their eyes and their heads would be turning and watching you as you walk across the room. I understand that one. I get that one perfectly. It's standard case. It's possession. Standard case. I get those a lot. I get possession a lot. Um, Yeah. I've read about possessions and whatnot and seeing how they've turned out. But uh, you're a fellow brony, and I I applaud you for bringing that up. I'm not going to laugh because I, too, am one. Oh, I didn't know that. I, mean, I don't I don't say it publicly because, you know, of, of shit I've been through and the way people are treating me and whatnot, so I don't really make it public public. There are a few people who know about it, but don't like to talk, but I don't like talking about her to talking about them to anyone in particular because I'm afraid people are going to laugh or judge me. So. Yeah, I, I understand that. Um Personally, I like it's. It's just been it's. It's been such a struggle. I mean, um, online people have been really getting on my case over this, and it's honestly had bigger of an impact on my life than uh the, the whole paranormal thing. Tell me, what other things have been strange around your house? Have you noticed anything else strange, like weird, like colors on the wall or something, like any like blood writing on the walls or whatever? You have you noticed that? Are you serious? Like. That that's that's a thing. That's that's a symptom of of this. Cause yeah, if if there's writing on the walls, or if your or if your reflection when you turn away has turned around to look at you and it looks all wrong, that's still you know it's still part of the. I'm just getting a case. I'm getting a feel for what's happening, so that way I can you know send help if I can. You know send send CJ a text and say, hey, we have our first case. It's over in Kansas. Okay. Can we have someone go out there and check it out? Or do should we start hiring people worldwide? Because I would really love to have you on our team because you seem like you're going to be someone who would help us out with this. So if you'd like, you could join our little side business, our side venture, and be one of our, you know, one of our believers. I could help you. Out. Yeah, you could you could basically help us get a feel for things because you said you're a Satanist, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not like with with that evil stuff, but uh, yeah. yeah. I understand. 
I, 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 I definitely I, like have an appreciation for the dark arts. Hey man, no judgment, man. We could we could use someone like you. If you'd like to join our team, you're more than welcome. We've we're hiring right now. We're kind of there's just two of us for now, but we're looking to hire more people. We don't really have a mobile base yet, but if you're looking, if you have a good place for us to have like a baseball operations wherever you are and just set up mm -hmm. a small base and have, yes, yes, we can send you out. Yes, or we can send you out US wide to hire people onto our team and whatnot. And we could grow our little organization, but yes, I understand your case, your case exactly as you put it. It's a possession, those figurines and stuffed animals. They are possessed by whatever you conjured into your home. Mm. That this is just this is more than just a poltergeist. This this is standard case. I I'm intrigued. Tell me more about what's going on in your home. Like what else is going on? Like tell me more so I have a good feel. You know, I'm trying to get out there. You know, um, I'm trying to you know grasp the concept. I'd right. just like to I'd just like to say I'm sorry to cut you off. Just first off, like. Thank you, thank you for the offer. Um, as as a Satanist, I don't get very many job offers. I'm I'm discriminated against quite often, and uh, just just you offering this to me is so so tolerant, so accepting, and yeah, uh, that's the way we are here in Idaho. We're kind people. Don't, don't yeah. Think we're, don't think we're gonna kill well, you. I just my my thing. You, you know what kind of had me apprehensive was just the things I've I've heard online. I watched this video from a guy called called Kiwi Tapes and. He he was saying that you were a pedophile and and that you were you were doing all this stuff. So I was reluctant to contact the organization in the first place. That's bullshit. I wouldn't dare harm a child, and even if I did, have you yeah, seen this video? I, yes, I saw the. I was I was in the interview when it happened. I, I was see. Literally in the I see. Yeah, they were interviewing me. Anyway, sorry to. No, I just had to make sure. I mean, let, let's go. Let's get back to the par the paranormal stuff. I mean, um, yeah, voices, um, loud noises, kind of. You, you know what's been the most, um, the the worst. I would say is probably like, I'll I'll be sitting in in a dark room and like a chair will start rocking, or uh, something, or a blind will start moving, or something like that, and that's what really scares me. Yeah, because there are no windows or doors open to actually cause that. I yeah. get that. I understand. Yeah. So, uh, so if you join our little organization, then you can you can take care of this case. Be one of our first field operatives. We could use oh, you man. as an example. Oh, that sounds awesome! But like, I just keep yeah, hearing all this stuff online about you, and if we could just clear it up all right now, like I'd feel I'd feel a million times better about joining the organization because. I've heard you, you know, like... Now that I am not a child predator, I did it because I was drunk and I was lonely at the time. I was drinking heavily. I had just lost my uncle recently and was drinking heavily to try and numb my pain, to try and get away from it all. And I was mm -hmm. drunk. I wasn't sleeping right. I was just in this slump, and it caused me to do some things that I regret. So I so you are a pedophile, but you're you, that was in the past. Let it be there. You know, that's what I like to say is let the past be in the past. Let yeah. your past die and be there in the past, you know? Yeah. Let it be in the past. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it's got nothing to do with paranormal investigation, of course. It's just like I just keep hearing all this stuff online and especially like. With your emotions, though, spirits can latch on to you if your emotions are. So I need to not watch these videos? You just need to ignore them. They're just I see. Trying to get, they're just trying to get a negative reaction. They're trying to rattle people. I see. They're just trying to get a reaction. I'm not even bothered by it anymore. I just stopped caring. Yeah, I mean, uh... Ignore the stupid shit. But anyway, back to the case. Is there anything else that has been going on, you know? Yeah, you know, like, when I wake up, I just feel straight like strange things have happened to me. You know? Yeah. Like you wake up and there's scratches on your body, you can't yeah. identify where it came from. And it's bad. Like I use things I wouldn't even want to talk about. It's just bad. I understand. I get it. I understand. So to get rid of this, mm -hmm. satiate it, you conjured it. To break the contract, you must offer something. 
Okay. Something that means a lot to you, something that's part of your heart. Mm -hmm. And if you give that item to said being, that being, and say, I wish to break our contract, here is a peace offering, I offer this to you, they will take that offering so, and leave you be. So, like, you know, I have done a little interview on, but it'd be like for you with, with your girlfriend, you, you offer that up. Offer what yeah. is closest to your heart, like yeah. a small memento. I, of I had a question too. Um, like I've heard that love is one of the most power. Like, do you have some a significant other that like inspires you to fight this evil? My significant other is a girl by who was by the name of Abby, but she stabbed me in the back. So I went with another girl by the name of Satori. She is an heiress to a millionaire, and her and I fell in love, and we started chatting, and I'm doing this because I don't want this As cold I don't want she anything is. bad to happen to her. I don't want any evil to rub off on her. I love her wholeheartedly. I really do. Yeah, but I don't want this evil to end our relationship. You know, I don't want anything negative to happen to her. Yeah, I just have a, a legitimate, like, that old is she, like... Let's she just. Is, be... She is in my age range, so. Okay, so like, let's just like let's get a number. Like, I I don't know. I know it's a weird like question from a like. I, we're just gonna be employer. We're gonna be employee. I feel like we should just. I I'm sorry. I've heard all these crazy things about you online. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine, dude. It's fine. She is like 1920ish now, if that. So. It's good. She's of age. She told me, and she, and I believe her because otherwise, if she was lying, I would know right off the bat. But I can tell she was being sincere. Yeah, yeah. If I um, could tell in her voice whenever she would call me, it's her sincere heart, and I could tell in her voice she was being sincere. And all these things, like I, I hate to keep going back to the Kiwi tapes video, but I. Uh, I just saw so much crazy stuff in it. I mean, that guy really, like, like, what do you think about that guy? The guy just literally laid into me, had nothing on me, and was contacting my loved ones, trying to get me into more shit. And I've just been, I've just been ignoring him. I don't even like him anymore. I don't even talk to those people. Yeah, I, you don't even talk to him? I stopped. I stopped yeah. talking to him. I quit, you know giving a shit because the more I give in to their, their trying to get me in trouble, the more likely I am to get into trouble. Yeah. I mean, but, but would you say that you did those things? Like some of those crimes? I mean, it's in the past, but I did. Do you do those things? No, hell no. No, no. Back to the case though. Like I've, I've really like when I was in my kitchen the other day, I had like, shit jangling around and uh plates breaking does that mean i have a violent poltergeist on my hands you have a violent entity yes and this one definitely won't leave you alone until you appease it what do i have to do to appease it give it something that you that you love some piece of whether it be a stuffed animal something that you got when you were a kid that is well part it's of you. It's offer it that, then it will, you know. It's the stuffed animals that I feel like are possessed. I mean, I ever, I have tons of them. I like I said before, I'm a big My Little Pony fan. Um, not really of the current generation, but the last generation, like Gen Five, you know. And uh, I I don't know if it's like some spirit that hates my love for ponies or hates me, but it's so angry. Yes, but let me explain something to you. Okay. If you give in to their des to that desire of that certain being, mm -hmm. the one that's actually asking for sexual favors, that is a succubus. Okay. Be fooled. Would you consider Linda a succubus? Something like that. Okay. But do not be fooled by those creatures because succubi are very, very dangerous. I see. When they get Ask about Linda's them, Discord. They the life out of them through their semen. I was going to ask, too, um, you know, since we're just on it, I know I've been asking you a lot of uncomfortable questions, but 
Linda's Discord, people are asking um if if Linda Binda had minors in her Discord and you know if if you were like maybe like at some point in your past, of course, talking to these minors. That was a long time ago. I let it be. I see. But there were there were kids in Linda Binda's Discord who you were you were talking to? They weren't that wasn't her Discord. Ah. Uh, it was a Discord I made a long time ago. Okay. Okay. Be on my laptop and on but my what about phone. hers though? Was he ever in it? But, but you see, I I went into the Linda Discord like a couple weeks back, and I was just curious. Like, have you have you ever been in there? No, I don't. I don't talk to her. I cut contact. But but we're like in the past. Were you ever in there? No, I never would. Never I in the me. never in the Linda Binda Discord. Nope, I've only. I only have Discord for what about online CCDN? gaming and whatnot and just chatting mm. with random people. What about this guy called CCDN? I've, like, Christian Daily News, did you ever talk to him? <sighs> yeah, I know, what a joke, right? <laughs> like, I'm just asking because this guy's a joke. He's a joke. He tries to get in my head and make me feel like I'm talking to somebody who's earnest, but really, he's just an idiot. Yeah, I mean, I heard he was in a band or something. Like he's he's pathetic. He is, but uh, anyway. Yeah, about the case. Well, what have you been offering to appease said entity? What have you been oh. offering? Well, yeah, I haven't been offering much. I mean, I've I've just really been trying to uh pray to the devil and getting the devil to like appeal all of these issues that i've been having in my house because usually it works but for for some reason this time it's not yeah he must be tired i see have you ever spoken to the devil do you realize you're talking to one of his uh demonic offspring you're a you're a devil spawn yes i am his heir to the throne, his son. I see, you're the Antichrist. In hell, I'm Lucifile. Lucifile? Lucifile. Okay. D-I-L-E. Okay. Lucifile. Okay. Um, so what does that entail? Like, what happens? He's been in a mood lately, Father. He's been in a mood. Really bad mood. I see. Yeah, he's been in a Really, really bad mood. I guess that's why everything's happening to you is because he's in a mood. I don't know why, but he's just been he's just been in a foul mood lately, and I'm kind of scared to ask why. Because every time I ask, he gives me this look like you don't want to know, mm. or gives me this glare that says "shut your mouth." Yeah, ab- absolutely. I mean, I'm be- scared of the guy. I'm scared of him because he can be rather scary. So, so as a Satanist, you're basically my Jesus. You're, you're the son of the devil. Well, one of them. He has multiple offspring. I see. Millions. I see. So I could be a devil spawn. He gave me my powers due to me being a powerful reality keeper. I, I see. keep reality from shattering. Mm-hmm. That's what he gave me. He... He's the one who made me into the reality keeper I am. I see. So is that like you can change reality to where like you're a werewire, werepire, vam, vampire werewolf? I'm a vampire werewolf hybrid mixed with a dragon and also part of the devil's family. So. I see. So the devil is just a small part of your lineage as where like I'm 25% Nigeria. Yeah, my demon half is... Kind of like, you know the game Devil May Cry? Yeah, Dante, yeah. Yeah, Dante and Virgil. I'm kind of like them. Wow. You're, I'm so so basically, I'm Devil May Cry is your life? Well, technically speaking, my devil powers are 100%, while half of my other powers, like the dragon powers I have, are only, what, 95? Yeah. My werewolf vampire powers, they are at a 90 nine percent of work that's why my devil work that's why my devil abilities are 100 percent. is because all my other ones are kind of based at you know a, a question though um 
is it the devil or the dragon side that has gotten you accused of pedophilia? Like, which side of your bloodline would you say has, um... I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was the devil side that made me do it because I was drunk. I see. I've also um, heard you were high off nicotine. Could you describe what it's like being high off nicotine? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. It feels weird. Like, it's like Can being check high the off private nicotine, chat? but way more intense. Okay. Continue. Uh, you know how people smoke marijuana in other states other than Idaho? Yeah, well, absolutely. Not, but it makes you kind of more, it makes you hallucinate. It literally see. fucks with your brain. It makes you hallucinate. And yeah, it was weird at the time. I did that one other time when I was living off of 12th up here, down here in Idaho. I was, I was living off on 12th Avenue at the time. And I had four different nicotine levels in my vape. And I took a hit. And throughout the night, I was taking hit after hit after hit. And then finally, I got high as fuck. And I was looking up at the ceiling. And my roommate came around. And he's like, Corbin, are you high right now? And I go, what? And he goes, are you high right now? A little bit. And at, the whole time, I was hallucinating. Like, for real. I was literally wow. My brain was toast. That's crazy. I mean, anybody could do anything in that state. Exactly. So I was kind of, I had two threes and I believe a six that was mixed in. Yeah. When I, was, when I did all that stuff that I was accused of. I see. Six. So, so you, so you actually did message uh, the miners, but but you, it, it's in the you were high. It was under the influence of. I see. Uh, you see, I've I've actually, you know, like I've done a lot of research into this, and whenever drunk drivers like mow down people in the streets, they're usually let off uh, on on the fact that they were intoxicated. So, like, you're completely correct. Yes, I I was drunk. I was under the influence of drugs. I was under the influence of drug and alcohol because nicotine is kind of a drug. So. So what's what's with the what's with the Linda drama? I mean, that's I keep, you know, since we're just like chatting around like bros now, you know, we're we're technically coworkers. Um, what's with the Linda drama? I don't really know. She found me a long time ago, and ever since then, people are like, "You've only been relevant because of her." No, I made myself relevant. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I Are mean. Uh, I got your case. I will send it to. I will send it back. I will send it to CJ once I get a chance to reach out to him. I know his house phone number, so I can give him the case, and then I'll tell him that I hired you. But I, I'm sorry. Just before, just before we confirm, can I just get you? Uh, I, I feel like such a prick asking you to keep recounting this, but like. Just before we do business, just before we seal the deal, we become partners, co-workers, could you just recount to me, like, all the controversy you've been through? Then we can then we can stop. Just in your own words, recount what happened. Just be honest. What's in the past is in the past. Please. I can tell that you're working as a counselor. I can tell just by you asking and stuff like that. I, well, what? Yeah, you're a psychiatric kind of guy, aren't you? No, I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I've read some books and I have a, a big interest in the paranormal. I, I just, I my thing is, is I have a big, like, I'm trying to start my own brand. And when I attach it to someone like you that's had controversy, I just want to know the ins and outs. Well, the controversy started back in 2023 because back then I was a bit younger not a bit wiser, you know. I was kind of a stupid kid. I did a bunch of shit. And the only thing I tried to do was strive to be a better person. I strove to be better. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I was living off, I was living with a roommate at the time who would stay up late on his video games, be yelling at it, and I couldn't sleep. That would make anybody go crazy. Yeah, he was, he was downstairs. Yeah. I could hear him. Awful. Yeah. And so I took to drinking and vaping and smoking to try and deal with all that. I took up all that to try and deal with it. 
And one night, out of the blue, some girls contacted me. And I was drunk and high and started talking to them. And they asked me for an illicit picture. But were they underage? I didn't know they were until later when they said, yeah, we're underage. We're calling the police. I didn't mm. know until it was too late. Mm. Back, And I couldn't back out. Like, my, it was already too late. My fate was already sealed. And at that point, I was drunk, really high off my ass on nicotine. And my, I was just arrogant because I was drunk, tired, and high at the time. I was just an arrogant bastard. I didn't care who I hurt. I didn't care who I stepped on. But then things spiraled out of control. Then one morning... I had just woken up one afternoon, one meanly spring afternoon, and the police threw open my door, yelled out, NCPD, freeze. So I got down on my knees, put my hands on my head, you know, mm. and they cuffed me, and they started frisking me. I'm like, I don't have anything that can poke, jab, or stab you. I never carry that sort of shit. Yeah, you're not a, you're not a junkie, you know? Yeah. So they took my Xbox, my laptop, and my phone. Yeah. And I still haven't gotten those things back. I day. see. I see. Yeah. Man. I mean, that they, I've heard all this stuff about you online. It, honestly, it kind of precedes your reputation as a paranormal investigator. I mean, I'm... I'm that's what I went for. I was looking for someone to help me with my basement. Uh, I, I'm planning on capturing some film and sending it your way. Just yeah, so you I can... Capture some film. Yes. And then we'll work together from Absolutely. now on. Absolutely. Part of our crew. Absolutely. Part of our crew. You will be... Boys will be boys. The Satanist part of our crew. Be yeah. like the guy we do Ouija boards with. Of course, I'm not going to touch the board. If so. it, I, I don't, I don't expect you to. But if you could do me one favor, during I, I'm a big fan of your TikToks. When you, when you do the TikTok, could you just give a shout out to uh, your favorite Satanist? Don't name my name. Just say hey, big ups yeah, to my. Well, it, it'd be a big help to the brand. Your, what is your username? You could. It's use your favorite you Satanist. Satanist. All you have to do, is, honestly, I'm kind of hidden on TikTok because of. Uh, Follow me back. Just follow. Me. Yeah, follow for sure. Me. Tell him your if name you is Chance Wilkins. If just if just in the next video, I'll, I'll tell you my name. If you could, if you could just shout out Chance Wilkins, uh, that's that's my name. If you could just be like, hey, big ups, Chance Wilkins. I'm one of the brothers. I'd be very appreciative. It'd be it'd, it'd do wonders oh, for my brand. Shout out next time I'm on. Next time I'm on, I'll just give you a big old shout out and say, hey, man. Thank you, my favorite Satanist, for being there and joining. Yeah, but my if you group. if you could say thank you, Chance Wilkins, that that mean the world, because then people know it was me. Yeah. By the way, I noticed your name when you said that. Yeah. I knew that your real name was Chance, but you like to be called another name. Yeah, but I really like to be. I do like to be called Chance Wilkins, though, like by my full name. I'm, I'm you know, I'm just being honest, because because we're buddies, we're gonna be coworkers. Yeah, of course, and uh, keep me. In Keep me updated, you know, give me yeah. daily updates to this problem you're having, and then yeah. we'll, we'll work together. For sure, and, and honestly, fuck all those guys who are just like, oh, this guy's a pedophile, he's been messaging 15, like, what are they even on about? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's completely ridiculous, but, uh, fuck Brian I digress. And Kiwi tapes. I mean, you do what you have to do to survive in this world. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Even if it does mean talking to some people that you're not supposed to? You do what you have to to survive. Yeah. I mean, oh no, no. Me and me and you, like, honestly, no, no, no. Let's let's stay on that topic. Like, you you got to do what you got to do to survive. Exactly. It's a man eat man world. Yeah. Out there, and know? if you got a message, whoever you got a message, it's just whatever. Yeah. People, and if people are un, if underage people are able to know what sex is, then they should be old enough to actually understand the concept. You know. So you so basically, like, you're in the right. Yeah, they should, if they're talking about stuff like that, I'm like, they should be old enough to actually experience it on their own, you know? And you're advocating for that. Exactly. I'm advocating for actual civil rights. That's a civil right that 
if someone's old enough to know what sex is and know how to appreciate it, then they're old enough to do it themselves. You know, it's, it's no secret. I mean, keep going. Like you're inspirational in this moment. Like I really want to hear your takes on this. Well, for one, the world itself is corrupt. The children aren't going to be the future. It'll be the adults who are the future. The children are just a stepping stone at this point. Keep going. Like I, I'm, I'm inspired. So what I'm going on about is if we can have any civil, civil rip liberties, I will do what I have to, to make sure people understand. I mean, Age what is it that they need to understand? What is it? What's what's the message? Age is only a number, despite how people think. Age is just another number in the world. There are countless people living and dying all over us, all over the world. There are people living and dying without ever producing offspring or enjoying their last days just being with the people they care about and love and want to be loved by. It's very hard in this world. So that's what I'm advocating for. Let age be a number instead of just some other person personality. You know, let age just be a number. Just that's what the U.S. needs to do is just let age be a number at this point. Yeah, I mean, they should stop the whole. Oh, this person's a minor. No, no, no. Age is just a fucking number. Get it right, people. It seems like you've had a lot of issues with with that, like. I mean, you, you've had a, you know, no offense. I'm not trying to be offensive. You had a lot of 15 year old girlfriends. I mean, how would you say that all these laws have impacted you? It's made it an inconvenience. It's inconvenience. The basic inconvenience of humanity. You do what you have to, to produce offspring. So that way you, your family bloodline can survive and move on, move forward. You know, if, if I'm going to be part devil, part dragon, part werewolf, and part vampire, being the only one that is that way in my life, in this lifespan, then I have to produce as much offspring as I can to make it so that way my race doesn't die with me, that my bloodline doesn't die with me. What would you say are the morals that you try to impart onto your, your offspring, your bloodline? What do you, what do you want to teach them? What I want to teach my bloodline Mind you, and if you are recording this shit, just make dude. Sure that you make it on the right honestly, I wouldn't want it recorded because I've said so much shit about the paranormal world that would get me harassed right now. I'm yeah. I'm honestly scared. Like okay. you're not. I know you're a big YouTube TikTok guy. I that's not how I found you. I found you through your business. But you're not gonna post this, are you? Oh hell no. Yeah, cause fuck that, dude. Well, I'll still post. We can when you send me videos edit of it. in your home. We yeah, can post it we'll but we'll heavily them. edit them. We'll heavily edit them that way they don't incriminate us. Yeah, but we'll uh, we'll do a collab, and you can. And when I go live, when I'm able to go live, if you were able to go live, we should do a live together where we talk about the issues. Whoa, in our lives. In you're house, so right. Get people, get people to understand that yes, the paranormal world does exist and does coexist coexist with us and coincide with the human subconscious you know it i mean yeah exactly i mean what are the chances you know that i actually run into a fellow believer as well as a person who's having his own issues yeah and basically you're my jesus i mean i'm a satanist and you're the son of the devil like this is a big moment for me i, I want to hear all of your word all of your testimony just, just my my word would be keep yourself from doing anything that's going to get you noticed in a wrong way. Because if you do that, it's only going to create so, more hell and create worse opportunities. So I, so I'm not trying to put, wor I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but you're saying like, you, you know, personally, I, I have a, a attraction to these people. You're, you're saying that like, if I, uh, you know, I just have to keep it quiet if I'm contacting a minor. Exactly. Keep it off of social media. Keep people from noticing it. Because if you get noticed and get get called on, you are going to wind up getting your ass handed a warrant 
for your stuff. I see. So I so I can do these things, but I got to keep it quiet. Exactly. And also, if you're planning on doing anything cool with your life and actually becoming someone famous like me, yeah, do it in the right way. Don't do it to where oh the fame's gonna go to my head. Don't do that. I see. That's what happened to me. I see. Learn, live and learn by example. Okay. Just like Jesus told us a long time ago, live and learn by example. What what examples would you say that you've set? Like what? Honestly, like how how can I solicit minors and and be secret about it? You seem to be like uh, knowledgeable on the subject. I yeah, I know that we're getting off topic. I I just want to keep it like I'm just trying to learn. You seem like a guy I can learn a lot from. Love it. Absolutely. Take your time. This is fucking insane, dude. What is happening? I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, we don't want too many people. Like, I'm. We're, these are insider details. Well, just make sure that if you're gonna do it, make sure that their minds are more pliable. Okay. Meaning, mold their minds into a certain mindset. Take, but take to heart that if you do get caught. Take the heart, just claim insanity or some shit, and the police will automatically believe it. Should I say that I... Did you ever say that you didn't know their age? Like, is that a good way to no, get out of it? I claimed not knowing. I claimed that. I said, I didn't know. But did I, you? I was supposed to know. Yeah, I told the police everything I knew. But I mean, with, with, I'm just asking for, you know, like just just between us boys, like, when you told them you didn't know, did you know? Yeah, I see. Way, it was way after I. It was way before I got arrested, and way after I got arrested. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, of course, they didn't arrest me. Arrest me. They just put me in cuffs. For sure, and they confiscated. Uh, from what I saw from the Kiwi Tapes video, it seems like they they took three of your devices. I. That's my Xbox One S. My wow. laptop and my phone. Wow. I mean, uh, you know, let's just be honest here. Like, what? Yeah, between me and you, like, we obviously share the same mindset. You know, we're two quick friends. Uh, what would you say? Like, is in those? Like, just between us? Like, was there anything they could find? Not really. Mostly on my Discord. On my. Did phone. you send like any nude messages or anything? Just on my Snap, my Insta, and maybe on my discord but that was a long time so ago. like three so like three different platforms that's all yeah three different platforms because it got passed around a lot yeah so. yeah but at that time i had already known and was ready to do a quick cleanup and close the chat rooms before the police actually showed up i see so so what you would recommend to me is closing the chat rooms before the police show up could could you describe Delete the chat room. Okay. Delete everything and just what, wipe your memory card. What am I supposed supposed to suspect from one of these chat rooms? Because I'm not trying to get caught up with like a sting op. Like what 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 constitutes is real and fake? Like I'm trying to find like someone underage that I can spend time with. Explain to you if the person asks for some sort of photo or something, think carefully before you make your next move because. What got me caught was me being open about it, and what that's what got me caught. So just make sure that if they ask you, hey, uh, we're definitely not a police officer, send us this, this, and this, you know they're police. Yeah. You know they're cops waiting to kick your ass and throw you in prison. Out I here see. they said the death penalty in Idaho was reinstated for pedophiles. So. Who said that? It says it all over the net. I see. I see. Um, what would you recommend for getting around like these kinds of like how it how could we get around these kinds of issues? I'm just trying to be with my girlfriend. Yeah, just let me explain. Just okay. Let me explain, please. Okay. Just as I said, I I had a lot of things going on back then. I was drunk, high, and basically sleepless. But when I almost got arrested, 
I knew that the police are coming. I knew somehow they would. And I decided that I was going to wipe my memory drive. Okay. Like I was going to wipe my hard drive. But did you, but was, you know, just, I have some questionable things on my laptop was, you know, just between me and you, there's some things. If the police showed up, I would wipe my laptop. What, what was on there? Like, just the chat rooms. That's but did you, was there any, memory. did anybody send you messages or did you send messages? Like, let's just be, you know, just we're boys just will be boys. Me and those people were just chatting back and forth when, before the police showed up. I see. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was rough. I couldn't sleep. Yeah. The entire night, I was up the entire night. I was That's terrible. But after the police left, I broke down. I cried. Mm. I was so scared. Yeah, were you afraid of getting the death penalty? No, I was just afraid because I was afraid they were going to throw me in a cop car and just convict me already. I see. Because you were guilty, but, I mean, they didn't have the the proof. Exactly, but they had, an, they had enough. They got proof by someone outside of my, outside my, you know, friend zone. Someone by the name of Anonymous. They gave an anonymous tip and basically got me in trouble. Yeah. I find that if ever I find that group who did that to me, if ever I find the person who did it to me or find the persons who did it to me, I will have them each executed. I see. That would just be in my opinion, but I would make sure they got the right punishment for yeah. cyber crimes too. For sure. But cybernetic terrorists, they've been, they're nothing but cybernetic, they're cyber terrorists. They deserve to be thrown in prison. Yeah. I mean,. But they invaded someone's privacy. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not like they violated a child. They they straight up invaded your privacy. They doxed you, like all this stuff. Exactly. They, they are a bunch of idiots. Yeah. They can justice. Man. But what is justice? Yeah. Justice is, uh, it's, it's what you perceive it to be. I mean. Yes, and justice isn't blind. She yeah. may be, she's not blind. She's cross-eyed, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Justice isn't blind. She's cross-eyed. Amen. Amen. Which means it's a blurred line at this point. I'm basically yeah. in the gray area. I'm trying to keep myself in the gray without the police ever knowing anything about me. Yeah, exactly. That's why, that's why I asked if you were, you were recording this stuff because I did not want to get into trouble I didn't want any more police to be on my ass, you know, that sort of thing. I have, yeah. to, I have to cover my own ass. Absolutely. I mean, you've told me a lot of truth, but, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, you, you, for legal purposes, you know. Exactly. I had to, I had to cover my own ass, you know, because if you don't cover your ass, then people are gonna, we're gonna get around and then you're gonna end up getting arrested anyway, so. Precisely. Precisely. But now that you're wow. one of us and yeah. one of our crew members, yeah. uh, what do you think our documentary show should be called? Should we make one? Oh, honestly, I would love to personally put out a documentary where, like, we talked and we talked about all the stuff we talked about tonight and all the stuff that, uh, you know, of course we didn't want to talk, but, you know, it's it's rough. You know, we, we got to get the truth out there, but. Yeah, I, I'd personally love to help put that documentary together as long as we can get a couple of interviews. Me, you, and uh, maybe your your co-founder. Exactly. And uh, here's what I'm saying, though. This is what I'm saying, though. If we could have a paranormal, you know, our own paranormal show to have, like our paranormal documentary show, yeah. what should we call it? Like, we have, um, we have the Ghost Adventures, hmm. the Stories, a bunch of YouTubers using different names. Hmm. Yeah. Should we call ourselves? I mean, that's the question. You, you know what we should do? Just to, and I hate to keep coming back to this. Shouldn't we call our show Too High for Stupid just to stick it to those fuckers that have been ripping on, on all this paranormal stuff? Exactly. Somebody yes. fucking me. Some, yeah, Too High for Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. Too cool. Too coolly high for stupid. Yeah. There you go. Too coolly high for stupid. 
because our our paranormal stuff will take off, people will be like, we're, we're not stupid, and we'd be sticking it to those knockoff paranormal shows. We'd yeah. Stick it to Zach Baggins. Yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah, we'd even, we'd even stick it to that fucker Zach Baggins who fakes his shit. Yeah, he's a faker. We're going to be real, though. We're going to show them that we're real pedophiles and we're, we're real paranormal investigators. Well, technically, we shouldn't say real pedophiles. Why? Why shouldn't we? I thought we were open about it. Well, between you and me, CJ isn't, though. That's so CJ one. is one, but he isn't open. No, CJ isn't one at all, is what I said. Oh, but me and you are. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm not going to announce that in the show because it will get us canceled. Oh, so we'll say, okay. We'll just call ourselves too cool, too cool and high for stupid. Yeah, too cool and high for stupid. Dude, we got to, we got to, I'll text you and we'll get a weekly time set up for that. And we can do like, we could have like interviews on, we could actually have like, have me going to haunted places here in Idaho. Yeah. Um, have you upload haunted places you go to wherever you are. Oh. Upload them onto my YouTube channel. I could even. Bro, that's amazing. That's a that's a great idea. And then, and then we'll we'll call the operate we'll call the show too cool and hyper stupid under the text Raven's Nest Productions. Exactly. There you go. That's what we'll That's call ourselves. Yeah, we'll call our we'll call our group Ravens Nest Productions. Mm -hmm. Man, yeah. well, I th I think we figured out this, dude. I think we we got a good grip on this. Um, I know that you're I know that you're busy, so I'll too cool and high for stupid. There you go, too cool and high for stupid. Um, yeah, we'll we'll get back to the on this. I'll leave you another voicemail. You can call me whenever you want. This this line's always open and. We'll get shit yeah, settled. Give me a, like, do your, like, film things in your house. Yeah. That happens. Like, put up, like, hidden cameras or something and yeah. film everything that happens. And then have it upload to your phone and then you can send it my way and then we can post it all over YouTube. For sure. Sounds like a plan, Corbin. All right, man. I'll let you go. You seem, you seem to have a lot going on tonight, so I'll let you go. And tomorrow we could talk more if you'd like or you could find me on... Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe on my YouTube. For sure. Don't follow me on TikTok and leave a few likes, okay? For sure. I'll I'll probably call you again on this number and leave you a message. <laughs> Alright, man. You, okay. You have a blessed evening. You too. Peace out. Pedos for life, brother. Later up. <laughs> I've Are got a pee. I've got. Me? I've go, got a pee go, so go, bad, go, bro. Go, I got a pee go. so bad. Let me. Pee. I'll cover now because I've been. Are you? So, chat, how good of a fucking job did he just do with that? You guys don't understand how much I was just losing my mind right there. But Kiwi, uh, Kiwi got him to say, listen, I put the Nampa PD police phone number on my Twitter account. Um, do not swat him. Do not swat him. But he just admitted to so many goddamn crimes and meeting, admitted to wiping evidence and all that shit. Because, again, he just fucking believed Kiwi, but Kiwi reeled him in like a goddamn fish. What a f What the fuck? How the fuck did that happen? How the fuck did that just happen, chat? We were sitting here talking about Josh and Jessica. I believe we were talking about the Cyrax community. And then out of nowhere, here comes Jupiter to say more fucked up shit in a 30-minute stretch than I think he ever has before. Fucking poor, poor Kiwi. I can, dude, you've been drinking a lot of shots tonight. Had to do that drunk and then had to do that shit all while having to take a piss. That is fucking brutal. And shout out to him for being able to keep it together like that. Jupiter really thought they were on the same page. And I can already tell there's there's people who are going to call Kiwi out for it. Like I saw Jacob Sock in his fucking super chat calling out Kiwi for saying that shit. Jupiter really believed Believed that he was had a friend right there, and, and then when he believes he has someone he can trust, look at all the shit he just admitted. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that shit.
Yeah, you got to you got to let the police know about that. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. You can't just let that go unchecked, man. But too cool and high for stupid chat. Are you ready for that one? What the fuck? What the fuck? The Oscar goes to Kiwi Kiwi, a phenomenal acting performance. A phenomenal acting performance all around. Will this be on Rumble? This will be on Rumble. I assume this will be on Two Eye for Stupid Clips at the end of the night. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, oh, Corbin, you fucking pedophile. What is wrong with him, dude? What the fuck is wrong with him? I just... I just sparked a cigarette. I cannot believe what we were all just witness to, and that was the most, like one of the most disturbing things I've ever heard in my life. It really was the the absolute carelessness when he thinks he's not being recorded. He was so fucking giddy to talk about that shit. You heard him with his age is just a number shit. You heard him. He was fucking. He was so adamant about what he believed, and it's all the things that he said he's trying to change. And then deep down, when he has someone he thinks he can trust, he'll tell them, oh, yeah, no, I, I actually do believe in all that shit. He is 100% a pedophile. And if you are someone who has contacted his uh, local authorities, like I said, if you're not, go ahead. If you like, if you feel like it's necessary, I feel like it's necessary. I absolutely do. God damn, man. I couldn't hold my piss anymore. I'm sorry, you're guys. You're good. I was, you're good. It was to the brink. Like you're good, man. That's uh, fuck that was, me, man. You got him to admit so much fucking bullshit. Like I said, yeah. people need to forward that to the police. There's what? no doubt about it. There's no. What doubt even about went that. on there? What like? Let's just Age be is honest. Just a number, like, Kiwi, Kiwi. I just told everybody. Fuck. He he finally thought he had someone he could trust in a in a setting that wasn't going to be viewed by other people, and he came clean about everything. So he came clean about him genuinely wanting to have, like, oh, there's, there shouldn't be no age of consent, as he said. You know, what are minors and all that? He said everything he truly feels tonight on the show, and it he's a literal fucking pedophile. Literal I feel yucky. Pedophile. I feel yucky, dude. Like, that right there, I... I feel like even more so than when he did the interviews with us. Yes. Was he as open with his pedophilia as he yeah. was? I, I, I've i never encountered anything like that before in my life. Um, He he called, I, just for anybody like who wants to know, he called me. I have a burner phone for calling cows, for calling anybody you know like it'd be fucking stupid to call someone with your actual phone and uh i did not expect him to call during the fucking show no like, and this someone just said in chat this I'm makes flabbergasted the look like innocent this makes the, the or innocuous no matter what it is it makes the Dude. interview look like child's play it, it honestly in that he was just so open about being criminal it's like oh here's how you steal things but for children how you wipe your shit yeah i i don't even know how to feel in that moment man i feel yucky i need to take a no, shot you got him to admit everything i felt like i should have kept on longer guys i'm no, legitimately serious i would have kept him on for another hour but i had to i've never had to piss so bad in my life not when i was deer hunting not I when think i was you got fucking everything. you got anything. everything you needed to dude that's just disgusting dude like when you really I know you guys heard it. You were there, right there with me. And I feel like that's honestly a bond that we'll all have together. Because you guys are like, oh, good job, Kiwi. Good job. I didn't do shit, man. I'm not, like, legitimately commending me as worthless. We all experienced this together. No, it's not. No, it's not. You fucking, you reeled him in like a nah, god. that was bitch. gross, bro. I, I always wanted to be a homicide detective growing up. But now that I'm even touching people like... Like this, I, I know I wouldn't have the stuff. I'd crumble. I, I would if I, if I had to see shit more fucked up than this, I'd crumble. Cause this is just like, wow. I, and you, you know, they say it, you know, like being a YouTuber sometimes or like watching enough of this content will fuck you up. This is one of those moments where I look back and I'm like, wow, this yeah. guy is an actual evil in this yeah. world and yeah it's just so disgusting to me i don't know where to go from that 
No. But it's it's to... fucking gross, dude. 